Hello and welcome to Dural TV. I'm Rosalie and I'll be bringing you the top stories from right here at the Dural Wildlife Park in Jersey and from our conservation projects around the world. I'm standing here in front of the Andean bear enclosure where there's a love story unfolding behind me. Our male bear Chewy and female Bahir are being reunited. Now they've been separated for nearly five months, ever since we found out Bahia was pregnant. Well, Bahia gave birth to a beautiful little cub at the beginning of the year. And to tell us more, we're joined by senior mammal keeper, Jenna Hunt. Well, Jenna, can you tell us why it was important to separate the cub and how the reintroduction is going? So it's really important that the female is separated from the male for the birthing period and that she remain undisturbed. Um, so Chewy's now been separated from her since just after Christmas. Um, and we're just starting the process of putting them back together. Um, and so far it's going really well. Um, Chewy has really, really missed the here. Um, so yeah, we've just started a bit of visual contact and some brief introductions. It's all going really well and they're, they're pretty loved up. And when will the cub be introduced to dad? Hopefully soon. Um, it all depends on how the bears behave, how protective mum is and how um, energetic dad is at the moment because obviously dad is very big and the cub is quite small. So we're just taking it very slowly. Um, but he is really keen to introduce him and when we, they've had visual through the mesh inside, she's been really keen to drag the cub out to see dad. The cub's been a bit, little bit more reluctant, but um, it will get there. Can you tell us how the bear cub is doing? He's doing absolutely great. He is full of life, playful, running around. Um, he likes destroying boxes and, and generally just creating trouble a bit like his dad. In fact, a lot of the keepers have taken to calling him monster or trouble just because he is so full of life and personality. Well, if you don't want the bear cub to be named monster or trouble, you can help us fix that. Dural is running a competition to name the bear cub. Send us your suggested name with a five pound donation to dural.org forward slash name and you could name the bear cub. The winner will be announced on the 7th of June. In our last episode, we told you about Professor Carl Jones being a finalist in the 2016 Indianapolis Prize. We're delighted to tell you that since then, Carl has won the award. Now the Indianapolis Prize is the most prestigious prize in animal conservation, and we at Dural couldn't be more proud. I like to think about what the world is gonna be like a hundred years into the future. What do we want Mauritius to look like? Without nature, we become lesser human beings. We really do need to have beautiful things around us and natural things around us. Every individual on this world can make a difference and we can go out there and we can actually achieve our dreams. My first reaction was, oh yeah, I've won the prize. And then it hit me like an express train and I felt quite emotional. I was thinking about the people who inspired me as, as a young man. Carl could have made his mark anywhere else in the world. And he decided to stay here and make his mark here on Mauritius. And all these species have now been saved and are in their hundreds. And what he has done is so deeply significant to the world of conservation. It's action. It's saying there are no such things as lost causes. We can fix this. He's achieved what most people would stand back and say is impossible. So if you can bring it down, we can then have a closer look at it. To be able to say that that person has actually saved a number of species. Yeah! I always get excited when I handle kestrels, even though I've done it hundreds of times. Wow, isn't that just beautiful? He made it happen because he believes it's right and he believes that is what you should do. And, you know, I think people with that level of conviction is what the conservation world needs. We have lost some totally remarkable creatures. And that actually is a great driver when you realise that these species that we're working with here could disappear completely. And for me, Mauritius without pink pigeons and echoparakeets and Mauritius kestrels would be a much duller place.
we're thrilled to announce that Dural has a new ambassador, Milo Parker, who plays a young Gerald Dural in the hit ITV series The Durals, says he's honored to join the Dural family. Now, the 13-year-old actor came to the park earlier this year, and I asked him what it was like to play a young Gerald Dural. It's an honor, to be honest. I mean, I set myself quite a lot of pressure um, because I wanted to do the role justice. And I think, you know, as you can see by the, by the park, he's so inspirational and he's so enthusiastic about what he did. And I love it how he's just devoted his life to animals. So I think it's, it's extraordinary to get to play him as a, um, as a young child in Corfu. In other exciting news, Gerald's Juliet Velasoa has won the Whitley Award the prestigious International Nature Conservation Prize. Well, Juliet manages the Ray Ray Turtle Conservation Project in Madagascar. She's known as the mother of Ray Rays in her village and has been working tirelessly since 1998 to save this critically endangered species. Now have a look at this. This is a pygmy hog, the world's smallest and rarest pig that lives in the grasslands of Assam, India. Gerald's Dan Craven is there, helping with the release of the 100th pygmy hog into the wild. Dan is producing a film of the release, so make sure to check in with Gerald Wildlife on Facebook to see it. Now, if you would like to support Gerald Durrell's legacy and help us save even more animals from extinction, have you thought about joining the Durrell family as a member? Have a listen to what a few existing members have to say about membership. I think it's excellent value for money, yeah, and uh, not just from a visiting the park point of view, but you feel like your money is actually really helping the whole conservation effort and Durrell's wider work across the world. I think it's constantly updated, so it's always interesting. Every visit you go, there's always something new, um, which is brilliant. Um, we need uh, The children love to see all the different animals that are around. Not only are you coming around and seeing the beautiful animals up here, you're actually putting something back to Durrell to enable them to do the conservation work. It's fantastic. And finally, we'll leave you with these pictures of Sir David Attenborough, who celebrated his 90th birthday on the 8th of May. A very happy birthday from all of us here at Durrell. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time.